And that is where we start tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Huntington. The Shawnee County Health Department announced today that Dr. Dennis Cooley will take over as the interim health officer. County commissioners do still have to sign off on the decision to make it official. And our Dan Garrett caught up with Dr. Cooley earlier today to talk about his plans now that he might be the next big man in charge. Dan joins us live now from the Shawnee County Health Department. So, Dan, what'd you find out? Yeah, Brooke, Dr. Cooley has spent the past 40 years in Topeka as a pediatrician. Now, he has also been on the health department's coronavirus task force as a, uh, as a consu counselor, excuse me, since June. So he says he's ready for the job. Now, he did say that he does only want it to be temporary. I really couldn't accept the situation anymore. I think it was for the best for, for everybody. If they find a health officer, they can... Uh, better reflect their vision for how they want to tackle this pandemic. After Shawnee County commissioners made amendments to Dr. Gianfranco Pizzino's health order on Monday, he resigned on the spot. But the health department didn't skip a beat. The COVID response that the county has been receiving will continue despite uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Pizzino resigned on Monday. If commissioners vote to approve, Dr. Dennis Cooley will take over temporarily. Today, Commissioner Aaron Mays gave me a statement on his thoughts on the next health officer. He said, leadership changes in any organization create opportunities for new ideas. My expectation is that the new health officer will create a fresh set of eyes and a new perspective to the role. Dr. Cooley is already an advisor on the health committee and says he doesn't plan to make changes for the time being. And our response to COVID, our response to this pandemic, uh, will continue on, uh, and I, I, I want to assure the uh, people of the county that uh, the health department will still function uh, as it had before. Now that the first vaccines are being sent out and administered, a lot of coronavirus efforts are going towards the distribution of the vaccine. Cooley says there shouldn't be any changes with their plan as they are following the guidelines of the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. So as a county, though, we uh, are looking at how what our role is going to be in that plan, in that state plan, what our role is, how we're going to help in uh, dispensing of this vaccine and making sure that uh, we can get as many people vaccinated as soon as we can. Now, again, for it to be official, Dr. Cooley has to be voted in by the commissioners, and the plan is for them to vote on Thursday morning. Now, that meeting will be held at 9 a.m., and it will be virtual, but we will give you all of our updates at KSNT.com. Live in West Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News.